here at the Iowa Speedway, we have just gone under our seventh caution. There is debris on the racetrack. So the 2.3 second lead that Brad Keselowski had over Justin Allgaier just evaporated. Uh, Kevin Harvick, you see there, has moved into the top 10, although Eric Darnell uh, did slide past him, so he's back to eighth as uh, the pace car is out. And there comes the race leader as uh, he comes in. Justin Allgaier also comes in. Let's go to Mike Massaro first. And Kyle Busch has been saying the same thing about his race car very consistently. Tight, tight, tight. They're going to make a track bar adjustment and a wedge adjustment, just trying to get that car to turn a four-tire change here on the 18 car. and they've made an air pressure adjustment on the right side. They want to give him a little bit more speed. Rick DeBrule. Leader Brad Keselowski brought the car in. He loves the way it feels. All they have to do is change tire. They are putting on four tires so he can go back out. But once again, no adjustments, no track bar, no air pressure. But they've got a little bit of problem on the left rear. They drop one of the lug nuts, so it delays his getting out. It will cost him and uh, no spillage of Sunoco fuel uh, like we saw in one of the pit stops earlier. Take a look. Stephen Light, remember he was involved in that uh, last caution. He picks up 12 spots by taking only two tires, as does Mike Bliss. Keselowski loses four because of the lug nut problem. So it looks like when it all shakes out, Kyle Busch may be the man they are all going to be chasing. And there's trouble for the 33. Kevin Harvick comes in. We will update you on what happened on his pit stop. And he is the one guy who can spoil the dash for cash. Stay with us. Just back to green flag racing here at Iowa. Kyle Busch was the race leader. He has Justin Allgaier behind him with Mike Bliss, Scott Wimmer, Stephen Light. That's your top five. Boy, Light really doing a great job. His crew got him out. But remember, he took two tires, and now it looks like he may be getting shuffled a little bit. This is where you got to be real careful. Guys in the front, they get track position, but they start backing up because the four tires are definitely quicker. Major development during the commercial break. While you watch all this action, we have to tell you, Kevin Harvick in the 33 is behind the wall in the garage. We have Jack Aroot heading for what is wrong. Jack? Talk right now, so we want to... We're going to get in with Kevin Harvick real quick. It looked like an oil line or something in the back, Kevin. What happened? Yeah, I just want to apologize to everybody from Jimmy John's. Our Chevrolet was running pretty good. Um, too tight in the middle, and the brakes wobbled. They didn't do a very good job yesterday getting everything situated. But uh, they said this, this line broke on the back of the 29. Maybe they just didn't check this one. I don't know. That's a tough break because, guys, he was coming. As you could tell. Well, and what this means is he was the only guy that could deny a winner in the $75,000 bonus dash for cash from Nationwide. Whoa, trouble. Bliss has turned around on the front straightaway. Trevor Bain looks like he scraped the wall trying to get past him. I think Trevor Bain got into him a little bit. Trevor got a little loose, tried to save it, and got in the back of Bliss. Looks like Bain's going to be okay, though. I mean, he's got a little damage right there. Right looks like, looks he like he's okay, too. Yeah, he got some right side damage. Yeah, let's check the right side of the car. Well, it looks like they could them. probably pull that out, guys. I mean, I don't see big, big damage that can keep him from going behind the wall or not staying in this race. Well, Bliss was running in the top three at the time. This is the second week in a row. He has had a tough break. Let's go back and take another look. 99 gets loose, he hit the apron, and the thing chased it up the racetrack, and he, he hit the wall pretty hard on the outside. Yeah, he Mike did get didn't hit nothing, though. He got it harder than I thought, but it looks yeah. like, I, I still don't think, I think these guys can fix it. I Another view. Th right here, Ooh. he hit the apron. As soon as we've seen guys do that during qualifying. Maybe I'll take that back, Brad. He hit pretty hard. 99, <laughs> yeah, yeah, 99's are not done for the day. You know, when I, when I watch those <laughs> doggone Sprint Cup car tomorrow's hit the wall, I mean, they clobber, they, they, keep, keep, going. they keep going, you know. These things are a little, not as tough. Well, and one of the goals of the new car that NASCAR is uh, talking about is to make it a little safer, a little more durable. There's Trevor Bain in pit lane. So for the second week in a row, he's going to have to work back towards the front. Taking one more look from onboard Trevor Bain's car as we head to commercial. 